Hi guys, this is Carmela of the Senora Kitchen. It's been many months, I think it's been almost five months since I've um, posted anything on my blog and I've been receiving emails from some of uh, my concerned, more concerned readers wondering what's happening with me. Um, uh, again, you know, it's never my intention to worry you or, or just uh, intentionally drop off the, uh, the face of the earth, but it, it's just, you know, there's just so much, like after a while, my whole, because my whole life has been around this healing process for almost a year now. And after a while, you know, you just get tired of talking about, you know, being sick all the time. And, uh, and I guess I was waiting for, you know, some significant improvement uh, to share with you, because otherwise, you know, you're always, you know, I'm not feeling well, I'm not feeling well, and, you know, it's just... It gets old and so yeah so I have a lot of ground uh, to cover I'm gonna try to be uh, concise and uh, just go with the highlights of course um, so just very quickly uh, last I guess the last video uh, I was just starting the, the specific carbohydrate diet the SCD diet um, which is I mean uh, it's about removing any uh, complex carbohydrates such as um, starches and all the grains uh, and the premise behind it is that it actually it's it's a sugar that's harder to break down uh, by the body and that and therefore goes and feed bacteria so to me it sounded like a very um, like you know very good premise um, uh, and I decided to give it a try even though I was really scared because it, it seemed to be very difficult and actually turned out to be one of the hardest things uh, I've ever done actually even harder than being on shakes for seven weeks because the thing is I was eating uh, that very uh, very restricted diet um, and I was always hungry I had no energy um, I lost a lot of weight I was about 93 pounds most of the summer and it was just really challenging because you know, basically there is no way you can survive on this diet without being on animal products. So I had to make a shift and, you know, I was having chicken broth and I, I was eating salmon, uh, lots of eggs, maybe three eggs a day. Um, and eventually, um, I mean, I had to, it was getting insane because there, there I was buying chicken and making broth and then giving the meat away. And in the meantime, there I was really hungry and you know, I woke up one morning and, you know, it was just clear that um, this was insane. I should be eating chicken, you know. There was this source of protein and that was available and I was giving it away. And so I started to eat chicken after 17 years of being um, vegetarian. So that was uh, difficult. But at the same time, to me, it was exciting. It was an exciting step because it showed that I was open-minded, that I was flexible, that I was prepared to do what had to be done for my body and um, and of course I didn't really enjoy you know the process uh, meat feels really weird you know the texture it's really hard to uh, to masticate but the weird thing it was easy to digest my body didn't have a hard time with it except that it constipated me uh, really badly uh, I was going every four or five days pretty much steady the whole time so so very difficult diet um, and, um, the, you know, the thing is, after two and a half months, I noticed no real improvements, nothing, you know, that, because it was, I was stuck in this pattern of, you know, doing okay for a while, and then I would eat, if I did the slightest little thing that my, that was too much for my gut, I would, you know, the inflammation would come back, the pain, and then I had to go back at the beginning. And I had to go back three times, you know, to the basic, basic of just having carrots and chicken broth and, uh, and eggs. And, I mean, that was really hard. And every time, you know, having to backtrack, I mean, you know, it was a real challenge. And after doing that three times, and actually I also tried the GAPS diet, which is very similar, except it adds uh, probiotics and, and uh, the aspect of detoxing into just a diet. So I did that as well. Um, and that same thing, you know, no real improvement. And, um, and in the meantime, I mean, it took so much energy to do, you know, follow this uh, protocol. So I guess in September, um, 
I just ran out of energy and I and I you know at the same time let's say there was a major shift that happened because I, I had this uh, really good friend of ours uh, Livina she's a super talented uh, energy worker and uh, and uh, she did some uh, matrix energetics and Reiki work with me and I it allowed me to really shift you know things to a level that that, that where I was just stuck in this place um, where I got pushed so far into my mind, you know, doing all this research online and just, you know, analyzing, analyzing and trying this and trying that, and that always from the head. And I was totally, I'd become disconnected from my body and from how I felt. And uh, so it came very clear uh, through her work, you know, that I had to start feeling my way through this and forget about the whole head thing. And that was such a relief, you know, so I stopped looking online and, uh, and also before I was always in my head planning what I'm going to eat next, you know, because it was so, well, you know, there was this thing and you introduce something new and then you try it for, you eat it for three days to make sure you're okay and then you introduce something else. And I was always looking ahead to what I could introduce next. And um, anyways, really disconnected from the moment. And so this shift has allowed me to go into the way I feel and be more in a, moment to moment basis and that was really tough at first because I you know like I said I was so much in my head it was really tough to come back in my body and you know it was very tentative and and of course I made some mistakes but overall um, I really I was able to finally shake 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 off that whole process of being uh, planning you know and so yeah so finally you know um, as part of that too that's right around the time that i decided to stop the scd diet and uh, reintroduce grains and starches and almost immediately i started feeling better uh abdominal pain that that i mean the last bout lasted for like three four weeks i couldn't you know i just couldn't get it to go away even though i went back to those you know really minimal um, introductory steps so, but once I introduced the, the uh, grains again and the, and the starches, almost right away I started to, my bowels started moving um, and um, yeah, just the pain went. So very minimal pain, still the thing, you know, it would happen, I would do something that's not quite right and then I would have to, you know, backtrack. But it didn't take long, it took maybe a month and uh, <clears throat> and then more more recently, I think the last time was a month ago that I had something that hurt my, my gut, you know, something that really irritated and sorry. <coughs> and since then, now it's been a month, that's the longest stretch and all this time that I've been sick, uh, it's the longest stretch where I can just continue. I feel my gut is getting stronger and I can introduce more things. This is the, the time where, I, you know, there's a... I'm losing track of how many things I can eat, whereas before I could count on the fingers of my hands, right? So, so um, some of the most exciting bits I've been adding lately is some citrus juice in small, small quantities, uh, some quinoa, uh, and yeah, just being able to, you know, eat eat what I feel like, and just which, of course, you know, is still very limited, but. Um, at, you know, at least, um, yeah, there is some progress. Still very few, I mean, no raw vegetables, um, but I'm eating some raw fruit, and I'm so grateful for that, you know, fruits that don't have to, you know, without the skin and, the, and the, without seeds, of course. Um, and yeah, and then recently, just last week, I had my first uh, spinach, raw spinach and smoothie, so my first green smoothie, and I had a, a salad, so... Wow, and uh, I bought some lettuce at the store, you know, the other day, and uh, I'm going to try that this week. So little, you know, tiny steps. So almost no abdominal pain. Um, I still have, on the other hand, what I felt under my rib cage that's gotten worse. You know, it used to be just on, the, on this side, now it's the other side as well, and I still feel it's connected to sugar. So right now I'm having virtually no sugar. You know, I use a little bit of coconut sugar and or honey in uh, in uh, the gluten-free breads that I make <clears throat> but that's it for sugar and then otherwise just fruit and I have to be careful you know not, not eat too much uh, at once so I still feel that it's gotten 
worse. Um, but yeah, the ab you know the abdominal pain, you know, pain, it's it's so much better. There's still the odd thing that I feel, and I so I, I personally think that I still have parasites. Uh, I've done more deworming, um, pr you know, pro protocols. I've taken um, more medicine. And I've also followed the Hilda Clark uh, parasite cleanse again, and uh, nothing's coming out. But but there's just weird things going on. You know, it's too random. I you know I know, and there's definitely still an imbalance of bacteria, and uh, you know, happening. So very recently, um, la just last week. I don't even remember how it's something that I'd read in all my research and then it just popped back up. Uh, uh, to, it's called oxygen therapy. So what it's basically uh, taking hydrogen peroxide, um, food grade, you know, so many drops uh, in water um, every day. And uh, and amazingly, I mean, I, I just, and you know, I'm not going to get into all the specifics of that, but oxygen basically kills uh, bacteria and um, so just and because I know it's a bacterial problem or parasites uh, so so the, the hot you know the idea of taking you know doing oxygen oxygen therapy just made makes a lot of sense to me and I mean hydrogen for example peroxide is very cheap and it's you know simple to follow and the great thing is my body hasn't been having any uh, negative reactions. My gut, you know, hasn't hasn't been uh, irritated by the process. I felt something in my kidneys at first, and it worried me, and I actually stopped for one day. Um, but then I, it's just my guess was that it was uh, too much detoxing, more than my body could handle, um, and I stopped. And actually, I I did read that when that happens, you just go back, you know, um, like a step or two, like less drops, and then you you know, continue, but to keep on with the process, because it's, you know, there's a lot of die-off uh, going on, so, so I've started again, and so far so good, um, so I feel confident, you know, that something, hopefully it's gonna, it's gonna help, and uh, shake, totally shake up that, whatever is going on with me, coming on a year, eh, guys, geez, I feel like a different person, you know, like, frankly, I've hardly even, raw in a year so when I look at myself as a raw chef it feels like a past life um, yeah it's you know so much so much growth it's been very very challenging but but I've learned so much and I've pushed myself be, beyond you know all sorts of boundaries and uh, and one big thing uh, also a big shift that has happened you know I was so caught in the mind and also uh, so pushed into my body you know with all the pain uh, I had actually stopped my meditation practice, and um, sometimes last winter, and that I started again in the summertime, and it's been such a blessing because really, I mean, sure, it's ha happening at the physical level, but more importantly, I think it's at the spiritual level that things will shift for me. So I've been meditating uh, steadily uh, for three three hours a day on average, um, and uh, and I feel yeah, you know, I'm. This is such an important part of the healing. So, yeah. So I guess you know that's the, all the the big highlights. Also, as you might have gathered, uh, we're not going to travel south this winter. It's the first time in four years. So, um, um, you know, it's just too much energy. Um, I need to st stay focused on my health. And. Um, and the mystery delivered this really sweet, uh, really cozy little cabin close to where we spend our summers in the Slogan Valley. Um, and we're, you know, we're just really comfortable here and it's going to be a nice you know, little nest to be in for, for the cold months and uh, just continue with this internal process. The one thing, it doesn't have internet. And, um, and of course, it was almost a deal breaker for us. And and then we realized, you know what? It was it's so hard to find uh, anything to rent that's reasonable in the area. And the way this place was presented to us was so magical. We knew we had to pay attention and just go beyond that. And it's actually wonderful. You know, it's so nice to be offline. It gives me more time to focus on my healing and doing other things. You know, the gluten-free baking. And I've picked up my knitting needles again. And, you know, knitting all kinds of stuff, it feels really good. Um, I'm doing a lot of um, 
I'm doing kombucha, kefir, uh, coconut yogurt, I make our own mayonnaise, uh, of course all the bread, uh, yeah, and just uh, uh, our own um, uh, vegan butter, so um, yeah, just I'm spending time in the kitchen, but it's nothing creative, you know, I don't feel any movement for creativity at all, and that's, uh, that's fine, you know, I'm okay with just and it's good, it keeps me in my body as opposed to getting caught in the taste buds and in the projecting, you know, oh, what am I going to make, you know, I'm just, you know, going more on that. Yeah, just overall, you know, much more like solid and quiet and paced, you know, paced uh, process. So, so I think I'm on a good track. Um, oh yeah, and I did... You know, I did go, I, I've gone the medical system route, I've had so many tests done, they can't see anything. Uh, the only ways to, to find out is through a colonoscopy. Uh, I, have, I had one scheduled in, I thought it was going to be December. The, the guy comes uh, to our area only once a month and uh, it turns out they were full for December. So I'm going to, I'm scheduled for the end of January. So what I'm hoping is to have significant improvements by then so that I can, you know, say, well, I don't need to, I don't need to do it. Uh, I'm on the right track and, you know, I, my gut is healing. So I, hopefully I'll have enough conclusive uh, evidence by then. Um, so I think that's, that's all the news. Um, I hope you're doing good. I, I meant to check when, when is Thanksgiving in the States, so I know sometimes in November so hopefully you have lots to be grateful for uh, that's something I've learned to do on my side to start to be grateful for what I have instead of focusing on on the areas that aren't so shiny um, for me right now but yeah I'd say overall it's going going good oh I've put on some weight finally yeah as soon I was telling you as soon as I uh, started to introduce the grains I put on weight again after being under nine, um, under 100 pounds of almost for the whole year, pretty much. Uh, now I'm at 106, which is, uh, you know, like major, major improvement. So, right, so that's it. Uh, I'm going to have, well, Christmas is coming next month. So in December, I'm going to have a holiday book sale. So if you guys, if you've been... Uh, looking into getting uh, one of my recipe books, so maybe get that for a friend or a family or a loved one uh, for Christmas, then uh, that will be an opportunity to do it at uh, reduced cost. And let's see if I've forgotten anything. No, that's it. I, I wrote a little note just to be sure I didn't miss anything. So I hope you guys are okay. Uh, I don't know when I'll be able to do another uh, video, hopefully sooner than later. Uh, if I have any big breakthrough, I'll make sure to share with you. Um, and that's it. So, sending lots of love and uh, light. I would send sunshine, but now it's cloudy and rainy, and we even had a snowstorm already. <laughs> so, right, but it will be nice and cozy this winter. So. so, love you guys, and I'll be in touch. Bye for now.